Okay, so here's how you connect your Harbor Freight Zurich ZR4, ZR11, ZR8, or ZR13 scan tool to your PC and either print out the report or email it to yourself. First, before you do any of that, you want to go to the uh, I-N-N-O-V-A dot com website. Click on Repair Solutions in the upper left hand corner, right hand corner there. Scroll down to where it says Create an Account. You want to create this account first. Uh, and you'll see why once we get finished installing the software. Go ahead and register, submit, of course, and activate your account. I think they sent a link to the email. I can't remember. They'll, I think they'll send a link to your email. Once you're done, you can close your browser out. Well, you don't necessarily have to close it out because we're going we're gonna to go somewhere else. Let's go back. to innova.com and we're going to go to support the support tab come down and across all the way to the left where it says product support click there manuals and software click please select category we're going to select OBD2 diagnostic tools please select model We'll come down and let's select the Innova Scan tool. Just a regular Innova Scan tool. It's there somewhere. Right there. Number 3130C. Boom. Click search. And once it comes up, you'll see the link that says download software for PC. Click that link. And it begins to download. Now, once it downloads, you can go ahead and install it. And here's what it will look like. Of course, I've already got it installed on my PC and I've already tried all this out and uh, to verify that it does work. You can close your browser out. Go ahead and install it. And once you do, this is what it this is what the icon looks like. It's a repair solutions. Uh, app. Next, you'll want to double click on the app. Yes. You'll notice uh, the icon appear down here where the, where the tray is. Let me get that to where you can see it. Let's see if I can Uh, bear with me here, guys. I may need to reduce the size of that just a hair. There we go. There you go. You can see it there. If you take and right click on that, you'll be able to see all the uh, options you have there. However, as long as it's there, of course, it's right there you know that it's running. It's running in the background. Now it's waiting for you to connect your scan tool. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and take the USB cable, connect the scan tool, and when I do that you'll see that the scan tool actually lights up and you'll have to wait for it. But the computer will tell you tool has been found. Okay, now we can go back to the little icon there in the tray and you can see that your account and all that stuff is, is lit up here. But let's get out of that for a second and let's come up here. You'll see uh, where I've already got, you know, it went ahead and pulled up my browser 
and went back to the repairsolutions.com website, which is what the inova.com uh, website refers you to. Now, if you look here, I've already got my information in there uh, for my truck, Dodge Dakota. Uh, if you, when you do it the first for the first time, you won't have a vehicle in there, so it's going to ask you for your vehicle information, uh, your VIN number, and all that. And once you do, it'll go ahead and pull that information from your scan tool. And this is this is kind of what what you're looking at here. There's my vehicle profile and all that good stuff. Continue. Boom. Well, shucks, since I've already done it and I put my mileage in there, it's looking for uh, for me to do it again. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Now, uh, let's. I'm going to do a mock-up. I'm going to do a mock one for you. Let's see. Well, I really probably can't. No, maybe I can. Let's try it and see. Or if I change the mileage. And then say, continue. I want you to see how it pulls the information from the scan tool. Now this is all web-based, so you may have to wait a second or two for it to load. All right, there's the diagnostic report. And it's actually pulling this information from the scan tool itself. You have summary here. And that's pretty much what this is, summary. Notice I've got uh, a problem detected with my emission system. Uh, then I have a code here. I can come here and go diagnostic data. And it pulls up all the diagnostic data. If you look here, freeze frame information, monitor status. Everything that's in your scan tool. And then I can come up here to the top and I can say print report. Or I can say email report. In fact, I printed this report out and this is what it kind of looks like just to give you some kind of idea. You can kind of see. That's one page of it. That's another page of it. Another page. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's really, really simple once you know exactly where to go. Uh, and I hope this helps somebody. Let me know what you think.